Well, hello there. Welcome to Maria's Missoni. We're in this video. Wow. Last month for Same Six Wednesday, today we will be using Tanya's items um, to play with. And uh, if you've been following us on Same Six Wednesday, you know what the deal is. If by any chance this is your first time coming to my channel for one of these videos, um, we are doing uh, six of us ladies who love to craft with paper and fun stuff um, are doing a collaboration that was organized by Tanya McGuire. And um, the link to all of the participants will be below. But if you just click on the first link, you should go uh, to the next participant and then click on the first link on their video and so on and so forth. And you'll be able to watch all six of us. And that's thank you to Tanya. And as I am looking at this, oh my goodness, this reminds me of like a little headdress. It's all these lovely feathers, but it looks like they're joined together here. Well, now Tanya usually does put a note in, so let me see what she says. So glad that you wanted to play round two. Of course I did! <laughs> the zine is just for fun. Hugs Tanya. Oh, I love her zines. She sent us one last time as well. Wing it. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> Ah, I love it. And you know, I love butterflies. Sending prayers. Those are always welcome. Hugs. Sending you wishes. Oh, how cute. And butterfly kisses. Oh, I love me some butterflies. Let's see. Do these have little pockets too? Yeah, so we could stick things in here if we want. But I love it. Thank you, Tanya. And thank you for, of course, including your note on a beautiful piece of paper. And let's see. So what are our six items this month? We have some feathers. And like I said, she has joined them together on this. It looks like seam binding, maybe. That is neat. So, of course, we could take this feathers out, but it'd be kind of fun to just use them like this. This one's kind of a little bit not that uh, strong there. But I like how she has done this. Nice. Okay, so we have some feathers. We have some of this. Is this, ooh, very, very textured wallpaper, I think. Nice. I love wallpaper. And this is very, very textured. Okay. Hmm, Napa. Oh, you know what this is? This is a key ring for, at least this is what I think it is. Like when you get your car valet have it parked, you know, at, at fancy places <laughs> uh, or at my doctor's office in <clears throat> Florida. They made us get valet parking. Uh, I guess that's what you get for going to doctor downtown. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. That's cool. So that's the third item. Ooh, look at these lovelies. Some metal. We've got mixed media going on here. Look at these pretty flowers. All right. I wish I had my fabric tack. Might have to pull my tacky glue. Okay. Or maybe even so. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we've got beautiful metal flowers. One, two, three, four. A time card. These are fun. And oh my goodness. Look at this. I think it's like eco dyed paper. Oh. And it's so nice and thick. Oh, well, you know, this is going to be a page unto itself, right? Look how pretty. I have to try this. I've never done the eco dye. But look, looking at it in person like this, it's so amazing. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen people do it, and it looked cool. And I've gotten printables, which are cool. But to get an actual paper that has been eco dyed, this is so cool. And then I might even use the envelope. We'll see. Okay, I'm so excited. So, um, <clears throat> we are allowed to also use stuff from our stash as well. So, I'm thinking this is going to be the page. Um, also, I have been using things from previous, whatever I had left over from previous days. And I think I might do that as well today. I just took everything, even the little bits of papers here in this little bag. So, I'm thinking, let's see, how am I going to do this page? I'm thinking I like, 
this is darker. Maybe I don't, will I do a spread? I think I have to turn off the camera for a few seconds to think about this and then come back. So let me do that. Okay. Once again, in an attempt to keep it simple, I think I probably will complicate things, but that's okay. So check out what I'm going to do. Um, I, I love this, both sides and everything, but I, I want... I wanted the page to have this right on this side, but the way this is set up, I would have to have it either this on the inside, a spread, although that's beautiful, but I don't want to do a spread like this. I just want to do a page. I just love this. And yeah, that's cool too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, wallpaper and that's going to be the other side. There's going to be one page and the wallpaper is going to be the other page. So it's going to be a little bit left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue and I'll probably come back later when I can get my sewing machine out and sew it for strength. But right now I'm just going to glue the, the wallpaper inside. I'm going to sandwich it inside of here. And I'm putting a lot of glue. I don't think I need that much, but. So let me wipe it down and put it on this side. I'm going to sandwich the wallpaper here. And then I'm actually going to close this off at the bottom so it'll be a big pocket page. And there we go. Oh, well, I don't need to do the whole thing. Okay. So then if this is going to be like this, this, I want my page to be like this. So I need, oop, I got to think this through here. So I need it like this. Yes, I think that's right. And if it isn't, it's no, no big whoop. Um, you know, it'll work either way. Oh yeah. Okay. That's gluing nicely. And there we go. We got our pages sandwiched right in the middle. Yes. So this will be the page that I'm going to be working on. Well, I'll probably work on this too, but uh, I'm going to focus on doing something to this page first. Although really it doesn't need anything. Okay, so now I'm going to bend. Let's see, do I have a, I have a bone folder handy because I have my envelope punch board here from another project that I did. And here's my ruler. Okay, let's see. Or maybe I'll just, because I want the entire page to be a page. The entire page to be a page. That makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> ah, I think you crafty friends know what I mean, though. Okay, maybe I'll do it this way. Because this wallpaper is so thick and textured, I think it balanced off this being very thick and visually textured um, here. Yeah. Hmm, I might even make this the cover, the signature cover. Uh, I don't know, I can decide that later though. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's what it is. And then this, oh, I already, oh, 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 oh yes. Ideas, you know, ideas, they just come and you're like, oh, cool, I have an idea. Okay, I'm going to fold this in. Hmm. This is the, the right side. This is the back, but it's nice white or, you know, lighter color on the back. Oh, we will go with it. Let's see. Can I make that a tuck spot? Yeah, this is so nice and thick, it might re really actually make a good cover, but we'll see. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. The back will be plain. That's okay. It's textured back here too. Oops, sorry if I'm moving the focus here. Okay, definitely going to have to come back in here and um, sew, sew this down. But let's see, I don't want these little blue, blue tape on there. Take 
that out. I think that probably just served the purpose of holding it while the glue dried because this is definitely glued in here or sewn. Did she sew it too? Oh, she sewed them. Can you see that? Let me see. Yeah. I think, did she sew them? I think she might have sewn them. I think I see a stitching line there. I might be uh, hallucinating, but no, I think they are sewn together. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Okay, I had a little interruption there. Sorry about that. And of course, uh, now I've decided to change my mind. <laughs> so what I was thinking of doing is putting this on the flap here. But, and then, and then I thought, oh, how about putting it here? And then like trying to make it like a pocket, but it's going to be really tricky to use this as a pocket without messing up the uh, feathers. So they really, at least I think they really just need to be decoration. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to do it facing down or facing up. I'm thinking I'm going to do some facing up here just to add to, to this page. And then I'm going to just cut that off. So let me grab my little blade somewhere. Have a blade. Okay. Here's my... Oh, you know what? I used it for cutting up a box. <laughs> ah, I need to go get it. And I will cut off slice off that bit. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Of course, I didn't find the one I was looking for, but this will work. How'd that happen? <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to hug the ruler there, Maria. Okay. Yeah, so there that we can still use that maybe. We'll see. Okay. And like I said, right now I'm just going to glue yep, all the way to the edge. That's going to fold right there. But I will probably have to come back and sew later. For now, I'm just going to glue, glue, glue. And hopefully this the glitter glue, even though this is very textured here, will grab it. Okay. This is so pretty, Tanya. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm not going to use it as a pocket. I just want it down here. To me, it's almost like a crazy grass growing or something, <laughs> you know? And um, I was going to put it here, but there's already a lot going on here. So we'll just leave it at that. And I am pressing down to try to get through the glue through all this texture. I don't know if it'll work with glue. But this is what I'm doing. Okay. Now, let's see. This is going to fold like this. Right? I want to include this beautiful... Huh, maybe... This, I said this was kind of like grass. Maybe I can make these like the little flowers in the grass and just leave this as a, you know, a little piece of art down here. I think I'll do that. That's a different. Hmm. Now I know that I don't think the glitter glue is going to do it for this. I don't know. Let me, let's, let's get a whirl. right at the edge and yeah I'm definitely gonna have to come back I'm thinking maybe even with a glue gun maybe this in the middle to really get it down there you but I really like it oh it's so pretty okay this one and maybe even do I have anything near me put something in the middle you know the flower just to finish it off a little 
pearl or something. I know I have them. It's just whether I have them here is the question. Let's see what I have in this box. No, nothing like that. Okay. Let's just leave it alone here to see if the glue will even take. I have no idea if it will. Okay. All right. So this page I'm pretty much happy with already. Um, although I might go ahead and distress the edges here with the um, espresso ink. So let's do that. Yeah, yeah, it needed a little something here. Cool. I like that much better. And of course, I want to be careful around that flower there. And the feathers. Oh yeah, this is going to definitely have to be sewed down. It's wanting to come up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to use a different glue for that. Ah! Okay. But I'm laying it out, right? I'm laying it out. Okay. Like that. I love this. It doesn't even need distressing or anything. Okay, so this little tag, I kind of like both sides. Although this scribbling, eh. I am thinking, <laughs> aha, it could be a tab. Let's see, I already have a tab. I already have tabs in this part of my book up there and down here. So maybe it could be a tab here, but I don't like it here. Unless, maybe if I distress it, I think I'm going to try vintage photo this time. Maybe it'll go a little bit better. Let's see. Ooh. I like that color better than that, you know, yellow. It's uh, kind of like a craft yellow, but still a little too yellow. Too yellow. There we go. Okay. See, is this gluing at all, these flowers? I don't know if they're gluing at all. Hey, you're supposed to have a stem. Where's your stem? There's stem flew out okay there you go see that little feathers of stem okay stem there okay yep 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 she's up here okay so maybe i have a tab up there in another page so maybe right here would be good and it could even be a little tuck spot up there a little pocket so i'm actually going to glue and i'm leaving the ring so i can hang something from it so I'm going to glue this way, just around the edge. Okay, let's see. And again, it's tricky on this textured wallpaper, but... Okay, my camera stopped recording for some reason. Um, oh, it looks like I might be running out of uh, memory. Got to clean up some stuff. Okay, so I've used five of the items. The only one I have not used is this um, card. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave it at that because I really need to come back and sew this down and probably this too. And this is going to be like a little pocket and I'm planning on putting Tanya's little note in here even though it's colorful as opposed to everything else. Or I could put something else in there. I don't know. So the tag, I'm probably going to distress and decorate it. But for the challenge today, I'm going to leave it at that. I used five of the six items. And again, I didn't do much. But I, lo I love what this is going to add to my uh, whole um, journal when I'm done which uh, if again if this is your first time coming what I'm doing is each of the pages that I work on um, each month are going to end up getting put together into a signature which will go into a same six Wednesday little journal so um, you will get the flip through of that entire journal next week not, 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 I'm sorry, not next week, next month. <laughs> um, so you will be able to see the totally finished product after I've sewn this up and put it in the, um, in the signature, uh, of my journal. 
And let's see if these are gluing. Let me see. No, they're not gluing. I also need to come back and use a much stronger glue. I'm thinking I might have to pull out my glue gun to just really put those in there. Well, these seem to be gluing okay, but you know, that one needs some more help. <laughs> All right, so this is my spread, and I got to show this page again because it's just so beautiful by itself. Um, and then this, and then the back is blank. Let me, uh, but, you know, there's still stuff I can do with it if I want to later. So that is my Same Six Wednesday for the month of June. Thank you again, Tanya, for all the beautiful things you sent and for putting together this wonderful collaboration. Um, and if, you know, you're watching again for the first time or you're coming back, you know that you can watch everybody's videos by using the links below. And um, yeah, when I come back for the flip through next month, I may even have between now and then have played with some of these things to finish off the signature. All right, enough yapping from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.